being able to have a chameleon, which goes back, if that's where it came from, being in sports. You know, you're playing basketball, football, baseball. I had to adapt from growing up playing in an all-black Little League baseball league. Every team was black, every coach, everything right there. Mm-hmm. And then when they tore our neighborhood down because they were expanding North Carolina a t because our, our neighborhood was basically on that campus, they moved the whole entire neighborhood to an area where it was mixed, right? Mm-hmm. So when I'm playing baseball and football, I'm playing on a mixed team. So I had to completely adjust my thinking about what I've heard mm-hmm. about people of a different race, about how things are done. I had to actually con- completely change my outlook. And then it all came to fruition doing, we had what we call a, a city tournament in baseball. Uh-huh. So I'm playing, I'm, I was a starting pitcher. I was basically a, 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 basically an all-American pitcher in baseball. Uh-huh. But I'm playing against the Black League that I came from, their all-star team in, within the tournament. Uh-huh. <laughs> so wow. I'm looking up in the stands and I'm seeing all my, the parents uh-huh. of all the guys. I Your grew former with teammates. And like, yeah. yeah, yeah and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only brother on my team. Like, oh, what's going on in here, man? And, uh, and of course, you know, we won. We, mm-hmm. we killed them, shut them out. They couldn't get a hit. Mm-hmm. And that was actually a bad experience because I broke this one guy's nose. Wow. Because he leaned over the plate. Uh-huh. But the thing with him, his name is Fred Whitfield. Mm-hmm. He's a Michael Jordan's right-hand man. Oh, wow. And so uh, he's still – I actually want to introduce those two. Mm-hmm. He's still mad at me to this day, man. It's been – Dude, we were 12, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. You said you introduced him to Michael Jordan? Yeah, well, now, Michael Jordan's obviously younger than me. Yeah, obviously. yeah. And we had a, um, I was playing basketball back on the East Coast, and Michael was in high school, was like, and Fred was playing at Camel College. Mm-hmm. And uh, Fred Fred was going to have a camp. I said, Fred, you got to see if you can get this guy, Mike Jordan, man, on there, this dude can play. Mm-hmm. And he reached out, and I said, here you go. We were playing pickup one day. Mike was my height. He was only mm-hmm. 5'10 at the time. Okay. So I said, you got to go to that camp. They went. Fred let him stay off campus, uh-huh. you know, doing the basketball camp. Next thing you know, Mike made him, when he went to the Wizards, he made him uh, legal counsel. Fred had a law degree. Mm-hmm. And he made him Nike's uh, international rep. Mm-hmm. And now he's following around there, Fred is the president of the arena that the, that the horn is playing. So, wow. I mean, he, he, Mike is very, very loyal. Mm-hmm. And so he's got a friend, can't even be on Facebook. Yeah, social media. Wow. Yeah, it's just, but I can't foster that relationship. The only possibility I can do is Fred's brother, uh, Charles, he started Hidden Beach Records. I don't know if you ever heard of Mm-mm, I've never heard of Hidden Beach Jill, Records. Jill Scott and all those people. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, but Michael gave him the money. So I can talk to Charles. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I get word to Fred. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's hard to get it's funny. You 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 set the groundwork or laid the groundwork for this thing that blossomed, yeah. but now you can't even get to <laughs> all because I broke his nose. If he had to stand over the plate. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. How breaking a brother's nose got yeah. him to connect with Michael Jordan. <laughs> now he's running the Charlotte Hornets arena.